During our NA161 expedition, Ocean Exploration Trust is partnering with Ocean Networks Canada for the eighth year to explore and perform maintenance on its major offshore cabled Neptune Ocean Observatory. This seafloor cable loop powers and connects thousands of scientific sensors. It's this network that allows scientists and anyone around the world to monitor instruments remotely as well as receive data at their laboratories. In setting the observatory up for another great year of science, one of the top priorities is installing a secondary cable to replace a compromised one at ONC's deepest site, Cascadia Basin. Cascadia Basin bottoms out at 2,660 meters on the abyssal plain in the center of the Juan de Fuca plate. In order to lay this new cable, we must call in another vessel. Say hello to Cable Ship Cable Innovator, operated by Global Marine. Cable ships are massive, highly maneuverable vessels that can very precisely place telecommunication cables on the seafloor, enabling worldwide internet access and connection. The cable is armored with protective coverings around fiber optics and copper that's used for communications and power. Large mud mats are jointed to either end of the cable and act as anchors for the armored cable ends. Not all telecommunication cable lying requires two ship operations, but due to the extremely precise placement that is required for this cable lay, EV Nautilus and ROV Hercules help monitor the placement of each end of the cable. The pre-measured cable must reach between existing seafloor infrastructure. Being off by even a few meters can make the difference of whether or not the cable will successfully plug in. In a rolling ocean, both ships must use dynamic positioning to hold station over the seabed. And with less than a ship's length between them, walk along the seafloor, spooling out cable while a line is under just the right tension. Pull too hard and you can damage the thin connectors inside. Leave too much slack and the cable won't reach. Maintaining this massive power source allows us to continue expanding our observational capabilities. Thanks to the patience and hard work of the ONC and OET Corps of Exploration, the Neptune Observatory stays updated and ready to provide critical data on earthquakes, seafloor surveys, and deep sea biodiversity.